Hello, I'm Jason again with MathTutorDVD.com and today we're going to begin our sequence of the videos in this uh, TI-89 sequence that's going to really take us on the path to understand uh, this calculator. So in this section we're going to begin to learn how to do basic arithmetic, basic calculations, and uh, also exponents. So if you're taken to the screen in your calculator, just highlight home and hit enter. If your calculator turns on and you're already taken straight to the screen, uh, depending on your settings in the mode menu, then you're already good to go. Basically in this section I want to assume that you know absolutely nothing about this calculator. We've already done some basic calculations, but I want to uh, solidify it here. Um, basically, and we've said a lot of this before, but uh, we'll say it again. Anything you type in as your calculation is going to be between these two lines here, and once you evaluate it, uh, whatever you typed in will be up here on the left, and the result will be on the right, and as you type in more and more calculations, those will continue to scroll up, so you have a history of everything that you've done in the past, up to 30 different lines you can sort of have in the history there. So if you were going to do some basic calculations, uh, you would do them just like a regular calculator. Uh, you know, 5 times 5, and then the equal sign is the enter sign, so you would hit that guy, and then it, notice it rewrites it as 5.5, that's sort of the algebra notation, and that's equal to 25. Uh, you know, 7 times 125.2, you hit enter, 7 times 125.2 is 876.4, and of course the number of decimals and everything that we have over here is going to be defined by the mode menu that we talked about before. In this case, I think it just have it set to floating point, so it's going to do the best it can. I don't have it to any sort of fixed point. Um, and then, of course, if the number gets too big, it'll just go off to scientific notation. Now, one more thing I'll mention, if you haven't noticed it in the other videos, everything I enter in here, uh, let's do 7 plus 5, like this. 7 plus 5, I'll hit Enter and then that'll pop me over and show me 12. Everything I enter, as soon as I hit enter and the answer is calculated, whatever I typed in last is going to be, again, put on this line and highlighted. And the reason that's the case is, if I wanted to make a quick modification, let's say I did a calculation, I decide, oh, I really want to add one more. It's highlighted now, so if I just begin typing again, four times four, then it's going to override it, just like a computer. But if I want to modify it, I just have to hit an arrow over here, just like on a computer. Then my cursor will become active, and I can easily make a modification. 4 times 4 minus 1, in this case, and then hit Enter. And then, of course, 4 times 4 minus 1 is the latest thing that I've put. So that's on the, on the stack now. This is called the stack. And, of course, since this is the last thing I've now typed in, it, this is the thing that's highlighted now. So no matter what you put in this calculator, the last thing that you typed in 